I thought we would continue today with our quest out here on Reventuli Coast to get all of the new diamonds in single player. And I just have to start with what happened earlier. About an hour ago, as I was getting ready for this video, I thought I'd run around, maybe get some respawns, and see if I could luck into anything good. And in this particular case, I did. A level 3 Black Rouse flew right by, perfectly in shotgun range, took it down with a 16 gauge, and the biggest disappointment of seeing 119.9 in the harvest screen. I really thought we had that one out of the way, and if we did, we'd be down to Caper Kaylee, Raccoon Dog, Mountain Hare and a bunch of waterfowl, so it would have been nice, but unfortunately Black Rouse Diamond still remains one that we do not have. So we're going to continue out here on Reventuli Coast today and see if we can get that or any of the other diamonds that we're missing. So perhaps fitting, we have a Black Rouse and a Caper Kaylee out here as the first couple things we run into, and neither of them are all that big, so we'll probably default to the 22 LR here. Just trying to make sure we can get them both down. Hopefully we don't end up running out of rounds this hunt, but it's definitely possible, especially if we're missing shots like that. Black Rouse is 220 away, so that should be more like that. That'll work. So two respawns. Maybe if we can get a level 3 out of either of those, it won't troll next time, but I'm at least happy to have seen a level 3 Black Rouse. That was one that it seemed like it was going to be very doable. There are a bunch more over there than I realized, but for so long we hadn't even had one really with a great estimate, so that was encouraging despite the unfortunate outcome. And as far as Caper Kaylee go, I still think I wouldn't be shocked at all if there's a level 3 on our map right now. It's just a matter of finding them, and I think I've kind of been mistaken about where the bulk of the Caper Kaylee were. I've primarily been spending time up here in the northwest looking for them. It seems like they are very populated in the center of the map, and that's an area I've kind of ignored. But so, as for our Caper Kaylee, four trophy rating on the dot, still way above the requirement for gold. I, I don't know if I've had a silver male Caper Kaylee yet. Much like turkeys, that must not be a super common thing. The black grouse, on the other hand, is a 112.8, so maybe 112 being a good omen for the rest of this hunt. And we actually made that shot on the first try, as opposed to the Caper Kaylee, which was right on the zero range, and we still missed that initial shot. I think we'll kind of go this way, where the Black Rouse head fled towards. Either maybe they'll fly back towards us. Sounds like this one is about to. I think that is one of the ones that was there. I remember the 113 estimate. They generally should stay together, so I wouldn't be shocked if the other one does that too. But that's super encouraging to have run into them that quick. They as well are, are very populated in the center of the map, and again I was kind of overlooking that area at the beginning, and that is where the level 3 was, by the way, it was over in here. So, maybe this is a good step in the right direction towards getting trophy ones for both those species. If I'm not mistaken, whatever's flying past us is no way. On the level 3 Caper Kaylee. I had the 4 to 5 kg track, I knew it had the potential to be something good, and it just flew right to us. I mean, that was the Black Rouse from earlier, to a T. Now, I think these control as well, so let's not get too crazy here. This one, though, May Diamond, is probably about 4.69. I've seen this in the community, by the way, so maybe it is worth taking the time to explain. You see, Diamond is 4.64 in the requirements there, and the trophy rating says 4.60, so in theory, you should think that would actually be a below Diamond. Trophy rating is always rounded down, so... They're scored by their weight, you can see that here in the trophy type. It's probably closer to 4.69, and that would of course be above the 4.64 mark. I really hope they change that, it's really unnecessarily confusing, and maybe that'll be something we see in a future update, but finally got the Caper Kaylee. That's one thing, as we keep coming out here over and over and going up into the upland region, I've been thinking if there's one species that we're just bound to stumble into, it would be a Caper Kaylee as far as being the diamonds. They are one of the more common diamonds on this map. And finally, in the area I've been talking about overlooking, one comes flying right by. And actually, that was the one that I said I wouldn't mind shooting off the ground. That ends up being an aerial kill too. So now I guess the question becomes, do we want to make a Caper Kaylee multi-mount? I really don't know that we're going to have the space for that. I think 
a cave for Kaylee diamond is going to end up on the wall, but should we end up, end up deciding to make one? I want to have the females to go along with it. I thought this was a bright or maybe an ochre. It is the bright plumage type, one that is seemingly at least an uncommon. And I want to say silver may be possible for the females. I don't know. But cool to get an uncommon for that. We'll at least tax it. We'll have it there if we find another one that's uncommon or maybe potentially a rare. That is one thing that I can't say I've seen for certain anywhere in the community is a rare female Caper Kaylee. Plenty of males, but I assume that has to be possible. Well, now we have yet another good size male Caper Kaylee. I don't know that we could have gotten that with a shotgun. It almost looked like we may have hit him. He did go to land right as we fired that last shot. And actually, I think he's coming right back up here. It doesn't look like we got him initially, but that is going to make it a whole lot easier. It is interesting today. The birds have decided to make it a little bit easier on us rather than tracking them for forever and then continuing to fly in the opposite direction. We'll keep on taking the males as well as we see them. They are some of the coolest looking rares on the map for sure. So anytime one comes in shotgun range, we'll definitely be sure to take that. Even if they are level ones, every female mountain hare in particular, we want to make sure we get, I can't believe we hit that shot in between those two trees, but they are going to be a species that, in my opinion, will be tough to end up getting a diamond of, especially if we stick with this single player diamond challenge, just because they're not like any of the bird species that eventually do end up flying right by in shotgun range and presenting those opportunities. They pretty much just run directly away. Now you do have those occasions where they stop and stand still, and if you track them long enough, you can get those opportunities, but when you're hunting other stuff, you can still get the birds flying by. If you're hunting something else and you don't happen upon one of those rabbits that is just sitting there, there's just not going to be as many opportunities to end up getting those respawns. So when they're right in front of us, that's one that I definitely want to make sure we get. No way. We have another level three Caper Kaylee out here and quite possibly the coolest spot to encounter is this wide open field. We're down to 16, 22 rounds, but one more will be enough to take that guy. We can just have one out of the air and one off the ground then. He warning called fortunately and I was able to spot him before he took off. It's just such a neat area to see a Caper Kaylee out there str strutting around in the wide open. Now, it would be extra cool if there was a female Caper Kaylee around to kind of make the point as to why he would be strutting, but still really cool. I had talked about earlier that likely we had a level 3 Caper Kaylee on our map. I guess that was not true. We had at least two level 3 Caper Kayleys on our map. And just going in the right areas for once makes all the difference. Got a black grouse up there too. This guy makes diamond as well. He will be most likely a little bit lower scoring. Now I talked earlier and we'll, we'll tax this quick and get moving towards the black grouse, but I talked earlier about them being scored by their weight. It's not always exact, which is one of the weirder things about the way scoring works in Call of the Wild. Those two guys are the exact same score estimate. That's interesting. But basically, there's a little bit of randomness. Even when they are scored by their weight, you can have little bits of difference. So in theory, if you had a low randomness side on the one that weighed 4.69 kg, you might get a 4.66 score. A little bit high randomness on one that weighs 4.66, you could get a 4.67 or 4.68, and the lower weight could be a tiny bit higher scoring. It really doesn't make a lot of sense. I've never really liked the randomness aspect, but it is a thing to consider. Got ourselves two bonus black grouse, by the way, in the process, although I guess this one's still up here a little further. And while I appreciate the bonus black grouse the game gave us there after getting another diamond caper, Kaylee, I guess maybe it kind of made up for the, the troll earlier with the, the two diamonds, but I definitely wouldn't mind getting another nice black grouse in there. There is a max weight track, we might as well go and find that. And then probably we are going to head back to the trophy lodge. This has been a hunt that is just almost non-stop. Between the birds and the rabbits and the other stuff that we encounter, there's been a lot going on and we shot a lot of things. And of course, two diamonds now in the Caper Kaylees. Finally, we get to see he is a level two. Not really a big surprise, unfortunately, after having a level three earlier. Making a good shot would certainly help things, but 
that I think is going to now be our last kill. Lots of Black Grouse kills today. That was a good one too. At 117.6. Actually brain shot him when we finally did hit him. But I think the Black Grouse kills will be hopefully useful in the respawns. Two Diamond Caper Kaylee is really cool to see and I'm not even sure how we're going to do that in the Trophy Lodge just yet. And of course getting the Mountain Hair and anything else that we really get anytime the route here is going to help us along the way. Every single respawn helps us to work towards getting all of the diamonds in single player, but let's jump back and place our Caper Kaylee's in the Lodge. And just to show it, because it actually did happen, the one with the higher weight from earlier is indeed a lower scorer than the one with the lower weight. It does just happen that way sometimes, but I took down a couple of Diamond Springbuck up here. I remember this from early access now. I think the mirrored poses are broken, so like, you hear the sound that happens there and you don't see any change in the pose. I think there's supposed to be one facing each direction and it just doesn't actually have the opposite direction one working, but we'll just kind of find one that sort of looks decent, maybe like that. And we'll place the other one up here beside him, at least for now. I think what I'd like to do is maybe have two different species here, and of course I kind of want them facing opposite directions, maybe something like that will work for now. But that's pretty cool to get a couple of Diamond Caper Kaylees, getting more diamonds crossed off the list. I think that leaves us now at seven that we have yet to find. Our first troll bird from Reventilia, unfortunately, was a Black Grouse in this video as well. But the Caper Kaylees at least kind of make up for it. And like I said, get another one off that list of diamonds we have yet to find. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.